hello guys and welcome back to my channel firewall again uh, today we are going to see uh, core CLI elements of the firewall administration core CLI elements for firewall administration so basically we are going to cover installing the security policy and verify with the command fw stacks then uninstalling the policy and verifying the command like fw unload local Uh, using this command we will un uninstall the policy and again verify with the command fw stack then we will see about the cp info how we can run the cp info and get the uh, find the information from the cp info there is some tool which we are going to download called info view to see the cp info files then i'll be showing you some of the cool stuff uh, how you can download you know all the cp commands on your notepad so guys please be uh, uh, stay tuned and uh, just understand what I am saying quickly log into the my security gateway and the SMS from the CLI perspective and I will show you things one by one I'm just logging to my SMS first, so let's undo it. Before that, let me uh, change us and then log into the session. Great, 192, 168, 1.100. And if I create one more session with the same settings so set 20 and log into the gateway 101 okay this is my gateway okay i just log into the gateway let me uh, admin is the username and password from the SMS. Uh, I can uh, run the command like uh, fw load so to see the uh, we log into the gateway. This is my gateway, and if I say I want to go to the expert mode, I will write expert and then I am going to the expert mode let me clear the screen if you see fw stack uh, right now I have installed uh, the standard policy which is on March 8 and this is the timing right now what I'm going to do I just uh, unload this part policy uh, I will use a command call uh, fw unload local to the policy install whatever I have with this gateway will go away. It's strongly recommend in the real uh, environment. Don't use this command 
until required okay so now let me run the command mw unload local and it's saying policy understand the security policy from all the gateways done and if i again run the status you will see nothing here right let me clear the screen and now uh, let me mw stat the status but before that i want to log into the sms and from here i want to go to the expert mode and i put the command expert oh sorry i give the password for the expert mode Okay, clear the screen. So, what we did, I'll just explain you. So, this is what the situation this is the SMS and this is the gateway. So, whatever the policy was already here, uh, it's like uh, the standard policy, the name. Okay we just deleted that from the gateway now what we we are going to do we have logged in to the sms and from here we will run the command mwm load and the policy name was standard and from uh, oh, to where we need to install that uh, we will get that gateway name from here so let me go back here and see for example I am going to install it on a cluster one okay so I'll be putting that uh, name here uh, cluster one and let's see if it works so here we are at the sms let me run the command fw fwm load and give it a name say standard i hope uh, it won't impact with the uh, upper case or lower case things uh and, you know, and the, the gateway uh, say cluster that is what we have here if i can see cluster one okay let's say if you load this so this is a legacy command from the earlier version and is absolute uh, already uh okay you management cli so guys, as we have seen the syntax for the uh, uh, policy installation from the management server is got changed. So right now we have RET and all the Gaia versions. So according to that, uh, the the previous FW load standard command will not work here. We need to tweak with the syntax. So uh, the latest RET.x uh policy installation from sms and syntax is you have to write m g m t underscore c l i then what you want to do is install 
policy then you have to give the policy package name but before that you have to write it down policy dash package and then give it to your policy package name we have here standard so standard and then the command is continue uh, then you give space and write what targets you want to uh, give it the command also oh, uh, install the policy targets and your uh, target name or gateway name in my case i have say cluster one okay you can give it your target name so we are going to write it down this command on the cli and we'll run this command so let's install policy policy package okay i forgot to give your policy package name it's standard and maybe s capital for now standard standard spelling is right okay and target is is password and it's working now awesome so after having a lot of trial and error i can say there is a success and this is how you can install the policy from the your sms so the command is mgmt Underscore CLI install policy. So this is the command MGMT CLI install policy. Policy name and most of the things. <laughs> and then there's something I received status succeeded. okay so i think uh, uh, we are good from the uh, command line perspective how we can uh, install the policy from the cli itself using the mgmg command so we we have seen how we can uh, run the command uh, from the cli to install the policy uh, now I am going to show you uh, how we can use the uh, command to capture the CP info file. So let me clear the screen here real quick and go to the uh, expert mode or you can run the same command from the uh, standard mode as well. But my favorite mode is expert mode so I always go to the expert mode. Here you have to write a command. Uh, let me write it down what we are doing here. Uh, we, we are, you know, capturing CP info file from the gateway. Okay. This file is required for, you know, a checkpoint tag or for you check config in one go okay so let me clear the screen and just show you how you can generate that so let's first see where you are at now from the directory perspective so right now you are the admin directory you try to go to the log directory and from there you will run this command that is what my suggestion is so the command syntax is cp info and where you want to store this output you can give it like o and give it a file name say file name one so 
so the whatever the uh, uh, CPU info file will start capturing. But uh, if you want to update this to the user center, like to the checkpoint user center to their command, they asking you provide the user center name and everything details to the user center. You can run that command or if you want for yourself, uh, tweak a little bit. So there is another syntax cp info minus z minus n minus o uh, and user name say test cp info dot cp info extension. The last thing which I wanted to show you that. Uh, how you can capture your commands from uh, checkpoint firewall to your text pad. So the command is, for example, I am capturing all the command from the uh, cache. So I'll write a cache, give this, uh, give dollar sign, then uh, so you are capturing all commands. So this is the syntax. So just write it down the syntax and it will work. And where I want to store all the cliche command, for example, I want to show store say cliche command find commands file. So guys, thanks for watching this video and have a wonderful day.